So, uh, it's Dr. Melissa Hayden. I'm a licensed psychologist and I'm the senior vice president here of all of our behavioral health programs, residential treatment, and emergency shelter. And I also oversee the behavioral health components within inside our uh, COSER convalescent, COSER complex center. Vice president of foster care and adoption at the Home of the Innocents. And I oversee our foster care and adoption program both here in Louisville and in Elizabethtown. I also oversee a program called Project Keep Safe. I am called a treatment coordinator. Uh, I'm the treatment coordinator for Ben's and Emily's house. Uh, my responsibilities are I am like the middleman between uh, the clinical therapist here and the state worker with DCBS. Intrinsic rewards. So yes, we all work at a job because we get paid, but the difference that you make and you feel like you give back, um, it, there's a pride that comes with the job and with working here. I'll start off by saying um, I really love working here because our leadership and our team members are trauma-informed, not only with our clients, but we're trauma-informed with each other. Um, everybody is really responsible and thoughtful about the fact that we all come from different backgrounds and we've all had different experiences and we definitely take that into account when interacting with one another which is great because that kind of um, compassion and sensitivity trickles down to our clients as well. The benefit of working with kids, I think kids make you look young, they keep you youthful, they keep you alive. Um, it's one of the most rewarding things I think that I've ever done in a long time. I really feel like you, you are pouring a lot into these children and so you're getting a lot back. So that's one of the things that I like. And it's just working with teenagers. It's fun, it's funny, you learn a lot. We try to make it a good time here. Caring, compassionate, if you look at any team member across this agency, regardless of what their position is, whether they're direct care, whether they're um, dietary, um, they're here for the kids. And that's the one thing that bonds all of us is we're all here because we support our mission um, and support the children and youth and want to make this community a better place. Um, the team of people that work here are, like I said, very trauma informed, very compassionate people. Um, they certainly don't do it because of status or money. They do it because out of the, the kindness of their heart and, and knowing that um, the work that they do matters and will impact the community. Um, I think it, it, they're very responsible people. They want to live in a community um, that is compassionate um, and that is um, thoughtful about everyone in that community. Very diverse uh, group set. We have a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. Um, a lot of the people that are in uh, different positions as far as like my positions, we were all uh, resident counselors at one point. So we started from the bottom, now we're here. Um, one of the things that I think would really surprise me uh, based on other places that I have worked is um, we pull together here um, as in when we need. Everybody's nice, we're friendly, everybody gets along. But when, with things that are going on with the behavioral health world um, at this moment, there's been a lot of stress on the system and everybody here supports and unites together. And it's not just my own internal programs, it's all the support positions and teams around the agency, um, understanding what the pressures and stresses are, and we pull together as a family here. One of the things that's really cool about the Home of the Innocents is there's so many different types of um, services that are provided and so we all have different backgrounds. Some of us are social workers, some of us are nurses, we have pharmacists, we have uh, people that work in the lunchroom, we have people that work in our JCPS school that is on campus as well, um, but we're all here for the same reasons. We're here to uh, help kids and um, make kids healthy and, and happy in our community and wanting to be supportive of families as well. So just knowing that you're working with a group of people that have the same values as you um, is really reassuring. I think the culture, the home the ends, we're really big on like open communication. You never do the same thing every day. 
I think one of the things that I really enjoy about um, my group of people that I get to work with is that we know that the work that we do is difficult um, at, at times, uh, but we also know that it's really rewarding. Um, and so we, we take that into consideration and know that the little wins are really important and we do, take a, we do a really good job of taking time to celebrate that. Um, whether it's going out to lunch together or showing up to an adoption um, as a big group and really celebrating that. Um, we know that it's important to take care of ourselves so that we can take better care of our clients and ultimately take care of each other too. If I had one word to describe the home, compassionate. Evolving. The home is evolving. Um, we're not trying to be the standard residential facilities around. We want to be the kind of place that there is like a waiting list of people that want to come and work here. If you are chosen to work here, like that's like you we want this to be like Disney World, like the creme de la creme. We want to be like the number one residential facility within our state. That's what we want to do. We're not perfect. But we're pretty close and we work really, really hard to try to just make it a place that people like want to knock in the door like, I want to come and work for you. That's the kind of culture that we want. Very supportive, uh, very woke, very in tune. And we also want to have an agency that caters to kids. I think sometimes we focus on rules and regulations and I think sometimes residentials forget that we have kids so we want to be relatable. We want to be fun. This is pretty hard for some kids to stay here. We want this to feel like home. I would say compassion is probably the one word um, I would use to describe the home because of the people that, that work here um, and the purpose of why they're here and understanding that you know, the difficulties that, that people go through really do shape their lives at times. Um, but understanding that if you are supportive of people and that you um, give them relationship, positive, healthy relationship and are supportive of them, they can always rebound and that people are resilient and that they can overcome anything.